Yo ho! Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan and today I am going to be talking about my 10 books to touch in 2022. Um, Spicy Cat Colors created this tag back at the beginning of the year and I like the idea of just I'm going to try to touch these books. There's no way I'm going to finish a book in the year really. Um, just too busy with the baby and everything so <laughs> But here's some books that I really love and that I hadn't really done anything with and I want to make sure that I get to. So here's my 10 books to touch. The first one is Symphony of Cute Animals by Kanoko Agusa. And I just absolutely love this book. I recently got it along with the other ones, but this one is a smaller size. So I figured it'd be more likely that I could maybe finish the page in it this year. Maybe more than one, but at least one. I actually have started it, this page, for um, the boat prompt on Olga Rani's channel one week. But yeah, I wasn't going to finish that in a week. But I just, my first time coloring with my polychromos. And I'm really liking how that turned out. So technically I have touched this, but I made the list of these books at the beginning of the year. I just recording it now, so I've made some progress, which is nice. Um, hard to pick which book, because I have several Selena Finnick books. I love her artwork, but I haven't colored in any of them. I don't know if I'm intimidated or just... I'm not sure. <laughs> but this one calls to me more often than not. And I keep buying a lot of dragon books without coloring too many dragons, so... Um, but I just, I love the the artwork and her style and I really want to do something in this book this year I had Manic Botanic on that list as well and I already colored a whole page this dragonfly one I'm so happy with this I used Tombow um, water-based markers mostly and then I um, I shaded with I'm gonna say castle castle arts gold colored pencils I really like how it turned out there's a little bit of shiny in the wings I don't know if they'll show up but really enjoyed working on this and I did this for the dragonfly prompt of Olgarani's so yay I got one knocked out of the park I want to do more in this book now like that they seem so intimidating, but once you start getting color on, it becomes a bit simpler. I don't know how to explain it, but it suddenly becomes understandable. The next book on my list is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I've had this for quite a while, and I just I haven't colored in it. I see so many beautiful pages done. And I love Joanna Bassford's work. I really want to color more in it. I just just haven't. I don't know why, but I really want to do, I really want to work in this. It's a beautiful book. Great paper. And I have, I have gotten quite a few mythographic books I haven't colored in a single one of them. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of them through book outlets, so I got them fairly cheap. But I think this one is my favorite. I just, I feel drawn towards this one. I, you know, I flip through them often and I think, wow, that would be so great to color. And again, seeing some really beautiful finishes. I just need to sit down and do it. This is on my list to touch. This one's by Fabiana Atanasio. Of course, Kirby's going to be on my list. I um I love this book. I still think it's my favorite. I love his new book too, but this one has such creativity. Again, lots of beautiful pages I've seen online, and I want to give it a go myself. But very detailed, very possibly time consuming. But yeah, that's World Moon and Worlds. Fairy Tales by Emily Lighthall Oberg. I 
Love this book too. Haven't colored in it until recently. I'm working on a page that's a buddy color with bubbles of color um, here on YouTube. I'm not going to show you the page that I'm working on, but I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So that's another one touched. Oh, dragonflies. I wish I could get her second book, but maybe someday it'll come back in print. This book, which might be my favorite book of all, Story of Precious Cats by, is it Nelko Nico? I think that that's, I'm not sure if that's the actual artist, but it's just beautiful pages. I might have to do the pirate page first. I just, yeah, this one, I really want to do this page, but I don't want to mess it up. I got to get better at gold. And water, some other things. I just, oh man, I love it so much. It's so cute. My ninth book is Books Just Books by Thomas Love Tomic. I recently got Drama Vega as well. Drama Vega. Um, but this is the first one I had, so I'm gonna. Um, this one is on my list. Lots of detailed work. Beautiful book. Very much love all the images in this book. Just need to jump in there and put some color on the page. Hmm. And the last book on my list of 10 is this uh, art therapy. Celtic designs. I love Celtic designs. Collected quite a few books of them. Haven't finished too many pages in them. But I just, this is, I got this from Thrift Books, I think. And it's just this really nice paper, really beautiful designs. Really interesting. I love this. I've had this on a tapestry in my room before. Just. Absolutely stunning book. Hardback. There's some really trippy designs in here too. <laughs> but yeah, just try to get something done in this book. At least put some color on it. A little piece of my a little piece of my art has said that it does really well with watercolor, so I might try some watercolor pencils in it so we'll see all right well that's my 10 bu books 10 books to touch in 2022 thank you spicy cat colors for the uh the more relaxed idea on the 10 books theme as a hashtag so i'll be filming another video maybe in a few months to see how my progress is with these books but so far so good Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.